I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Okay, I appreciate that. Let's just get on with it. We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Okay. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. I, I'm, I'm, Where was I? I'm glad you could be oh, in my yes. company. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined in that episode. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. Okay. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's mm -hmm. not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Um, sure. Feel free to look around. Okay. Um... Yep, computers and stuff, and aliens. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? Uh, sure. That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. Um. We've almost got that portal working again, but I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. Yeah, I, I would prefer not to. I, what am I waiting for? Are they waiting? F oh, oh, there she Gordon. is. Gordon! The Vortigaunt said you were here. Yeah. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Yeah, that's creepy, Dad. <laughs> Take a look at this, Gordon. Okay. Yep, everything seems to be um, functioning uh, within parameters. <laughs> I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Am I just supposed to wait for something to happen? What's down here? Nothing. What? Alex! I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. 
Ugh, let's get out of here. <laughs> that whole walking backwards thing really freaks me out. We're just going this way. So what? I see you've met Dr. Mossman. Yes. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You I should don't hear blame her drone you. on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Well, I guess I'll be going there though, huh? Are we going back outside? So, here we are. Yeah, here this we are. Yard. Fantastic. This is the gravity gun my father was talking about. Okay. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. Okay. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Uh, okay. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Okay, cool. You can also from a distance. Try grabbing the barrels from that ledge up there. All right. Interesting. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. Stack some stuff to climb up. All right. Try stacking some Oops. things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. Okay, I've done that, I think. All right. Oh, geez. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So now just everything is a weapon. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Okay. Dog! Come! Good doggy! Gordon, this is Dog. My dad hi, dog. loved him to protect me when I was a kid. <laughs> First model was about, yay hi. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, dog. Throw! So he's gonna throw it and I'm gonna catch it? Good catch! Now what? Do I throw it back? Throw another dog. <laughs> Excellent.
Wait, what are we doing? What's what's it doing? Oh. Well, I thought maybe you could throw it. But it bounces too hard. <laughs> okay, I'll let him pick it up. What am I supposed to do now? That thing just keeps rolling at me. Throw it, dog. Oh, he's. Do I throw it back to him? Okay, Gordon. Let's try something else. Dog, throw something bigger. <laughs> he's gonna throw the whole dumpster at me. No, dog. Oh. What's that? Scatter. Oh. the area. We've got to head back. Should I take this with me? Oh my goodness. Oh god, what the heck was that? Give me a heart attack. All right, let's just leave that behind. It's stuck. It won't. There it goes. <laughs> Wait, where? Which way are we going? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Gordon, you need to get out of here. Uh, okay. I can't leave my father. Dog, take Gordon to the Ravenholm Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry! Oh my god! Is he coming with me or is it just me now? It's just me, isn't it? I'm doing. That's gruesome. It's a little gruesome. Wait, how do I get? I, oh, I need to get that. Um. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay. 
This is where they said not to go. They said don't go here. <laughs> do I even need ammo now? I was kind of looking for ammo, but do I even need it at this point? Now that I have this, this, um, gravity gun? anywhere okay <laughs> Wait, where am I trying to go then nope that doesn't go anywhere oh okay those explode Important safety tip. Oh man, oh. Oh, these are probably, probably very deadly. Ew. <laughs> Yeah! Oh my god! Oh, got a twofer! Oh! Head crab! Head crab! Oh! Yeah, that's probably not exactly the best solution to that! Oh my god. No, where's the- yeah, saw blade. Somebody was coming up behind me! Oh, head crab! Crab? Is it- is it called a crab? Head crab. That just- yeah, I guess- I guess that is what it's called, right? Scary noises. What is that? For it was said, they have become like these peculiar demons which dwell in matter, but in whom no light may be found. What? <laughs> okay, that can't be right. Oh no! Ooh! See, that's gonna whack them. Uh, uh, that's gonna kill us if we try to get in there. Okay, we're doing something wrong. Okay. What am I doing? <gasps> what am I <laughs> Okay. Am I missing something? I can't get through that. I can't affect that. I mean, I thought maybe I could affect the switch or something, but it doesn't seem like I can. No? I, I, I don't get it. Do I just run past it? That doesn't seem safe. 
Is that what I, is that what I'm supposed to do? Is just run through? Cause that doesn't seem like the right answer. Oh, what am I? What am I doing? Am I gonna? Okay, I guess we're gonna try. Yeah, that's what I thought. So like, what? What? Okay, I don't know where that disembodied voice is coming from. I don't understand this. What does it want me to do? Can I just do it? Can, I can just duck under it? Is that is that what it is? Oh, God. <laughs> So I, I can, I can just duck under it. <gasps> oh my God. I am so stupid sometimes. I could just duck under the dang thing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> just when I think I couldn't possibly get any dumber. My bones are parched like ash and let all my impurities be as fuel for that fire until nothing remains but the light alone. Hey, you don't even have to switch to the crowbar anymore. What's the baby crying sound? No, no, I need a thing. No. No, where's the, where did the thing go? There it is. There it is. Where, where is the thing? I guess I am going to still need a gun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's more of those... Why can't I hit those with the thing? <sighs> I can hit him with a bullet, but I can't hit him with a gigantic saw blade. Apparently, I can't hit him with a bullet either. <laughs> Cryony <Crimey> sakes. <sighs> There's a guy up there! Is he friendly? Oh! But who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise. Okay, thanks.
Oh my gosh! Oh! Gah! Startled me! Those few, first few shots were just pure panic. <laughs> Oh, I'm all f I'm I'm all filled up on this, really? That's surprising. Oh! Huh. Okay. <laughs> weird. Uh, let's take a saw blade with us, I guess. I like the saw blade because it's a good weapon, but you can still you still have good um, line of sight for things. Wait, is that turning the fire on? What if I do? There we go. There we go. Oh. No, 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 no. Wow, he was already half not there, and he still took a lot of shots. Poor bastard. Okay, wait a minute now. We got... We've got to... We've got to turn that off. Somehow, right? I hope you enjoyed Half-Life 2, Gravity at Your Fingertips. What's the best use of gravity manipulation? World peace? Flying cars? The answer is obvious. Death and mayhem. Remember to boop that like button before you go, and I'll see you in the next one. Dashpot out.